Hello everyone, I'm Mrs. Rekha Azim, Assistant Professor of English, Government First Grade College, Kavu, Mangalore. The novel Nampali Road by Meena Alexander, prescribed for BBA Sem 4 of Mangalore University with the text title Compulsory Foundation Course in English. This day we are going to study chapter 6 Ramiza Bay. Now we are in a session 19 of the chapter 6 Ramiza Bay. Before starting this session, let's have a recap of uh, session 18 where we see Mina Alexander, her efforts to bring out uh, the corrupt officials who use their power not to safeguard the property and the life of the public, but they use their power to suppress the voices against the politicians. This was the situation of uh, politics of 1970s India. While on their way to the police station, Meera and Ramu observed uh, many people, the beggars, few people hanging around, the cobbler busy with his work and wondered the Ramu's intention of taking her out of the Sonanivas. College. She knew that uh, little mother was ill, and instead of meeting her, Ramu took her to the Goliguda police station. They also had to pass the new Mysore cafe, rounded the railway station, where they saw sandalwood uh, and incense sellers rickshaw drivers carrying out their work and many other things. When they reached, uh, finally reached the police station, there was already a small crowd headed by the Kabaddi master. Trusting all their uh, pressure and efforts, they entered into the police station. Ramu and Meera also found their way into the police station and later the police station was uh, described when it was built and uh, the interiors of the police station. With this, uh, the session came to an end, the session 18. Now we are in session 19. So entering the, the main room of the police station, they saw the woman, Ramiza Bey, lying curled up on the mud floor of the cell with a muddy face and her sari was stiff with blood. She was breathing very hard. Meera, with great effort, put her hand through the bars and touched her damp forehead. It was all dark. The blood smeared all around and her cheek bones had clear brush strokes. There was a commotion from the people behind and a group of young men struggled with policemen and by breaking the cell of the police station, Ramiza Bey was taken to a safe place. To the cries of men and women, who used milk bottles, the soda bottles, bottles filled with kerosene, buried sticks and stones and bits of lumber in the clear afternoon heat. The police station started burning like anything. At the end, only the metal bars were left. Hundreds of reserve police and the gangs of ever-ready men arrived on the scene. 
Those who remained throwing bricks and bottles at the handful of police on duty were quickly arrested and carted off into the black vans. The story of Rami's abuse spread through Hyderabad like smoke from the burning police station. Now we are led to the story of Rami Zabe. Where was she from? About uh, Rami Zabe and her husband. Rami was a young woman who had come from the mountains with her husband. They had come to the city to watch the celebrated Visakhata at Sagatakis. As it became late, when they started walking back to the home of relatives, and they had to pass the deserted road in Galiguda, where they fell prey to a horrid of drunken policemen. Ramiza Bey was a gang raped, and her husband had his brains beaten out and his body was found in a well behind the police station. With this, uh, the session 19 comes to an end. And if you would like to have further reading, you can find in the text compulsory foundation course in English for the BBA degree program, Sam 4. Thank you one and all. Have a good day.